and welcome to this video song frontier video. My name is Jay Wakefield. Now, yesterday, um, I um, became the lucky recipient of a box full of components from a fellow Freegal user. Now, um, not long back, I can't mind how long it was. But um, Aberdeen FreeCycle devolved into two groups. The original Yahoo FreeCycle group became Aberdeen Freegal. And the FreeCycle group moved to its new home on the actual FreeCycle Network's website. And it seems to me that um, Freegal has been kind of more, well, it's, it just kind of seems easier to be able to get stuff off of Freegal than it does FreeCycle. Um, but um, someone had um, on offer the parts to, well, on the listing it said a Pentium 4 machine, but um, they couldn't actually decide um when I arrived to pick up the parts, whether it was to a Pentium 4 or a Pentium 3. And as yet, I still don't know. <laughs> but whatever the, whatever the case, um, I have had a, you know, I have had a wee look. And, um, you know, some of these components do show some promise. Now, not all, it's, it seems that a, basically a case was um, emptied of, of, it, of its components. But there are still some that I would need to add. But this does this box does look like it contains a really good damn project in it for in it. So let's have a wee look. First of all, um we have um the inevitable uh IDE cables. Um for those of you who've just started kind of getting into and opening up computers and um, don't recognize these. Um, this is the way, um, this is a parallel interface uh, used for connecting uh, hard disks, optical drives, backup, uh, tape backup systems, zip drives, and um, you know, a few other goodies. Um, this was the predecessor to SATA. Um, we also have. Um, one of these will be a floppy drive connector, and I know that much. Not sure which one. The floppy drive connectors, usually though, you can tell which ones they are, because um, there's a few less plugs. Um, the, uh, the, actual, uh, the actual cable is uh, narrower. A few less plugs. What I meant is that there's less pins, there's, there's less... Uh, uh, pen connectors, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I know what I'm. I know what I mean now. Um, let's just. Um, is this the floppy connector? I don't know. Please excuse my camera work. Could be a couple. There's, there's um, more cables in here than uh, than I would expect. But uh, nope. Obviously not. And now we get to the meat and tatties of the uh, operation. So uh, the first thing you see is um, a modem card. It's a very simple modem card. Let me just uh, move this table over here, and I can actually um, got somewhere to rest some of the uh, components. And then we have. A graphics card. Sorry about that. So this card is not bad. It's an NVIDIA GeForce, that's always good. It's a GeForce 2, however it is the MX one, so it won't, it is kind of the more, uh, it is the uh, value version of the MX2, so it, you can't expect it to be able to do the same, you know, the full broad range of things that the MX2 can do. It's quite funny, there was an MX, th that, hang on, the, 
GeForce 2. There was a GeForce 3, but it's it's really quite rare, is that. I mean, I've had GeForce 2s and GeForce 4s, but um, yeah, I've not had a... I've never had a GeForce th uh, 3. And this, of course, is an AGP card, which is very nice. Um... There is also, I think, um, I'll pull this out, here is a power supply, uh, ATX, ATX, sorry, and it's got a light on the back of it, I've never seen that before. And this is a light on power supply, it's not too bad. Um, high pot, well you do get high on pot. Um, and then eight. So I think what this has means, you get high on pot, you get the munchies, and then you've eight. Once you've had the munchies. So so that's good, it, it knows its stuff. Um, and this is a 230 volt only power supply. Um, so um, there's uh, there can be no Bruce Sprint, uh there can be no Bruce Springsteen born in the USA action on this power supply. Probably because it's got high on pot and it's eight. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now that now that I'm done with the um now that I am done with the Happy Who concert power supply. Um high pot okay, yeah. Um I'm gonna call it Woodstock. Um, here is another modem, which is uh, nice, and don't know why you need the two, but hey ho. Um, do you know that uh, sometimes 56k modems, you don't always want one, but sometimes you've just got to have one. And there's a few of these case fronts. There's uh, this. This must be a 5.25 to 3.5 inch adapter. There are a couple of other. There are a couple of 5.25 inch ones as well. Very nice. And um, the backing plate for the motherboard. Standard, typical PC 98 layout. Same sort of layout as my 2001 custom belt. Um, I'm not too sure to which this, to which computer this all once belonged. But apparently the USB ports are for printers, scanners, cameras, USB game devices. So I guess flash disks are out. Um, I guess mobile phone charge cables are out. Nah. It's obviously, you know, just to give an example of what you know, can be plugged into a USB port, PS2 mouse and keyboard sockets, USB uh, socket, I, uh, RS232 serial, IEEE 1284 parallel printer part for more traditional printers, VGA out, game part joystick, line out, line in, and microphone. And here's a a fan. I hope it hope it works. Could do with a bit of a dust off. But um I certainly will have to give it a test. Another backing plate. This this one is slightly different. Um this is the more modern design. Um so you have provisions for PS2 mouse uh, keyboard and mouse. RS232 serial, IEEE1284 parallel printer port, VGA out, two USB ports, Firewire, another two USB ports, Ethernet, microphone line out and line in, but no game port joystick. Um, so yeah. And then here... We have an IEEE 1394 Firewire card. It's very nice. And 
that uses a floppy disk drive connector, I think, to power it. Um, very nice. But there's... Uh, well, while you have an internal firewire port, there's no provisions for case headers, which is a bit of a shame. But still, it's a firewire card nonetheless. And then you have some uh, PCI slot blankings. And now we come to the motherboard and processor. Now I'm not, I have no idea of what all of this is. So I am going to need to take some time, have a look at the board. I know it's a cheap board though because it's using a, a silicon integrated systems or SIS chipset which of course um, everyone is dying to have something like that. It uses um, SD RAM actually. So um, it's anybody's guess what this is. Um, but yeah, I don't know, this this could be, um, but yeah, this is using the more traditional backing plate. You can see you've got the parts, PS2 mouse, keyboard, two USB parts, that would be probably USB 1.1. Oh no, it's black, it could be, no, I think it's USB 1. RS-232 serial port, IEEE uh, 1284 parallel port, VGA out, so it's got onboard video, it'll be uh, SIS video, lovely, the joy of joys, um, game port joystick, line out, line in, and microphone. However, all is not lost, you do not have to use the disgraceful, hideous SIS video, oh no. Because what you can use is the AGP slot. And you could use that instead to add a video card. Very nice. So what I think I'm going to need to do is try and find out what make of board this is. Because, I mean, I, I really have no idea. Uses a Wimboard chipset like the uh, like uh, the blue Packard Bell iMedia. You've got um, millions of case headers. I think um, there could be provisions for uh, front-mounted mount uh, front mounted stuff. And... Um, MS6524 version 1. So, um, yeah, I think uh, I think what I'm going to need to do is uh, go on the internet. I'll try and find out now, actually, what make a model board this is. Oh, it uses a 12 volt rail, actually, for the CPU does this. Um, let's have a look at the caps first, though. Um... They seem okay. What on earth? Yep. Let's have a look. Just uh, have a look at these capacitors. Oh. 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 That one kind of looks like it could be domed. But I'm not too sure. Um... This motherboard was obviously manufactured. Um, whether it um, is a Pentium 3 or a Pentium 4, I get the feeling it was definitely, definitely manufactured during the capacitor epidemic. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what make a model of the uh, motherboard this is. You know, just so that I can actually, um, you know, so that I can actually, you know, find out some info. Okay, um, so um, I've managed to find some information on the motherboard. It's an MSI, MS6524. 
and um, I've uh, pulled up the specifications. Um, if I go to the overview, there's really nothing about it. Um, specifications, basic specifications. It supports Intel Pentium four process processors in the socket in the four seven eight pin package. Supports one point five to two point five gigahertz and up. I like that. It kind of um, it's almost as if it promises uh, higher speeds in a BIOS update and up. All right, I'll just kind of drop a. I'll, I'll just drop a 3.6 in there, will I, and see how it goes. Um, chipset, SIS, um, 645 or 650, HMAL, uh, GUI, HMAL, uh, HMAL chipset. High performance, host interface, 400 megahertz, PC133 memory controller. Integrated A.G.P. No, it's just A.G.P. Uh, compliant target 66 MHz host to PCI bridge. High throughput SIS Hyper Zip Connect to SIS 961 Hyper Zip Media IO. Whatever Hyper Zip is. Dedicated ISO Cronus response queue. High performance 2D, 3D, and video accelerator. Sys 650 only. That's interesting. That. Um, my last experience with an MSI motherboard. That model number was 650, but that was a completely different kettle of fish. That was actually a socket 775, Core 2 Duo, and the 650 was the um, motherboard make, not the onboard graphics make. There was no onboard graphics on this board. It was um, MSI 650 SLA. Or, you know, or that could have been the name of the NVIDIA Enforce chipset. But yeah. Um, has a SIS 961 Hyper, Hyper Zip Media IO chipset. High performance Hyper Zip connect to SIS Series NB. Integrated multi threaded IO link ensures. Um, concurrency of up and down data transfer. Integrated HyperZip Connect to PCI Bridge, Dual ID Master Slave Controller, Integrated USB Host Controller, Fast Ethernet. No. Integrated USB Host Controller, Fast Ethernet Mac Controller, that's not available on my particular board. Integrated audio controller with AC97 interface, advanced power management, and PC2001 compliance. Integrated RCC and DMA interrupt with two uh, and keyboard controller. Integrated RTC and DMA interrupt and keyboard controller. Integrated PCI to LPC bridge. FSB supports 400 megahertz front side bus. Supports four memory banks using two 168 pin unbuffered DIM supports two gigabytes of PC one three three DRAM supports three point three volt DRAM DIM slots one AGP ac accelerated graphics part for time slot one point eight volt only so it's really a bit kind of down the bottom of the barrel with this board I think you know it's um, definitely seems like a more budgety board. Um, 3 PCI 2.2 32-bit PCI slots supports 3.3 or 5-volt PCI bus interface. Uh, 1 CNR communication network riser slot. Onboard ID. An ID controller on the SIS 961 chipset provides ID, HDD, CD-ROM with PIO, Busmaster and Ultra DMA 166.33 operation modes. Can connect up to four ID devices. Audio. AC97 link controller integrated into SIS 961. Two-channel software audio, car, uh, audio codec. Railtech ALC201A. Slash 202A. Compliance with AC97 version 2.2 specification and it meets the PC2001 audio performance requirement. Onboard peripherals. 
Unbarred peripherals include one floppy part, supports two floppy disk drives with 360k, 720k, 1.2 meg, 1.44 meg and 2.88 megs. Two serial car, uh, parts, COM A and COM B. I wonder if one of these is um, headed on this motherboard. Um, because this only actually has one serial part on the board itself. So it must, you know, there must be a serial part header on the board. One parallel part supports SPP, EPP, ECP mode. Four USB ports, two rear, two front. I did think that there was um, USB on it. One IRDA connector for SIR. RJ45 LAN jack, optional, I don't have that. One audio game port, one VGA port for SIS650 only. BIOS. 2 megabyte award BIOS, blah 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 blah. Dimensions, um, micro ATX form factor with 6 mounting holes. So, hopefully, um, you know, I mean, I can, I can still download things. I can download BIOSes. I can, I can download an updated BIOS driver, and hopefully I should be able to get manual, because I'll kind of need that. Yes, I can. And I can get the drivers. So, basically, a nice wee thumbs up to... Um, uh, my goodness. Well, I can get the drivers for Vista 64. Nice. I can get drivers for anything up from Windows 95 to Vista 64. Really? Would I really want to run Vista 64 in a 478? Ugh. Windows 98? Hang on a minute. No, I probably want XP. So thumbs up to MSI for the drivers. Um, so I've got the SIS system drivers, Railtech audio drivers, IDE drivers, and VGA drivers. What I plan to do with these components then? Well, I'd like to make them into a computer. There are a few things I'm going to need for that. I'll need a hard drive. I'll need an optical drive. I'd like to have a DVD-ROM drive in there. Um, I will need a case. Always a good thing. Going to need some memory. I believe I've got some. I can always uh, find some out and drop it in. Probably 512 megs to a gig of RAM, I think, it will do the trick. And, um, and then I should be good to go. Um, I like I said, I'd, I'd like to, um, I would like to build this into a computer, and I think it would be quite a good project. So um, that is what I'm going to endeavour to do, to basically build a computer. And um, if it is USB 1.1 parts in there, as I do suspect, hopefully I will, you know, try and snag a USB 2 card to throw in as well. Um, and then once I've got the machine, basically I plan to, you know, either give it away, you know, kind of a, some sort of a charity thing, or sell it. I've not decided. Um, I'll probably give it away, actually, because if I sold it now, it would be extremely bad PR. So way to go. Uh, <laughs> But nonetheless, I think it'll be a really good project. I'm, I'm, I am genuinely looking forward to it. Um, you know, and I, I think, um, you know, if I, if I can get this done, um, I do plan to film it. Um, because um, I promised, um, I promised my good friend Kez I would try and film a, com a computer build for her. So yeah. Anyway, that is, um, I guess that concludes this video. Um, thank you for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and have a look at uh, my other videos if you've not already seen them. Instructions on how to get there, the URL will follow. And uh, just before I do go, I would like to thank the Free Cycler who gave me these computer components, the Freegler, rather. Um, so thank you very much to you. I'm definitely going to be able to make some use of these. Thank you very much for watching. And um, 
I hope you will all join me for my next video.